Last night was the first public hearing regarding the city's fiscal year 2021 budget. You know, the one that guaranteed $13 million to the police department? That one. Well, something really cool happened last night. And no, they didn't agree to defund the police, but John Dingfelder, council member who represents the city at large, proposed to set aside $1 million to start a pilot program similar to the CAHOOTS program in Eugene, Oregon. Now, if you're not familiar with the CAHOOTS program, it stands for Crisis Assistance Helping Out on the Street. And this is where they send out qualified professionals to respond to mental health crises calls instead of sending out a police officer who we know already escalates those situations, sometimes to the point of unnecessary death, which has happened way too much. Now they haven't approved this pilot program just yet. They kind of got hung up on the dollar amount, not really knowing how much it'll cost um, when it comes down to the details. But we already know that this program can save the city millions and millions of dollars in the long run. And more importantly, this will save lives. All right, so here comes the important part. So based on the dialogue from the city council last night, they're not only going to continue to fund the police department $13 million, they're under the impression that a police officer has to ride along with the social worker as they respond to these mental health crises. But we have to remind them that in Eugene, Oregon, in their CAHOOTS program, that the social workers only needed police backup 1% of the time. They're virtually unnecessary for these calls. So that's just one example of what we have to remind our council members about, especially as they're building this program that is going to be new to Tampa. As much as we want our council members to do their job and figure it all out on their own so that we can live our daily lives, in reality, the onus is on us. We've already gotten the ball rolling on forcing our elected officials to make the changes that they would not be making if it weren't for us. So get involved and stay involved, especially in the upcoming months. We need to make sure our council members are going to actually support Dingfelder's motion to set aside money for this new pilot program. So continue to stay in contact with them. If you haven't contacted your representative yet, pick up the phone, write them a letter, make a public comment. And it's also time to start thinking about our next big move. After they approve to fund the pilot program, they're going to need suggestions on how to build it. So I wanna hear from you guys. What are your thoughts? What do you think this new pilot program should include? Let me know. I have some amazing breaking news for you guys. State attorney Andrew Warren has dropped the charges on Jay, the seven activists from the Rainbow Mural, and two community organizers from a June 27th protest. And the cherry on top is that the white supremacist Noah Armstrong, the guy who drove his car through a crowd of protesters on July 4th, will be charged. So that is amazing news. And it just goes to show when we are peacefully protesting and exercising our First Amendment right and we get arrested, then those charges will likely be dropped. Us that were made in past protests were only an attempt to intimidate and silence us. And that plan is backfiring. Local officials like to claim that they ignore loud voices, but the reality is a big reason why they're making these positive changes now is because of the vocal pressure from the protesters. When we get more numbers on the streets, we can keep pushing for more positive change.